Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Well, today we're in the shop because of the, the one-handed situation. Got a couple projects waiting. That lawnmower's waiting on parts. And this blower, this is my brother's leaf blower. A brand new, still 800. It shattered the side of the piston off for some reason. Everything looks fine in the cylinder. So well, we might be able to save it. But that's waiting on kind of two hands to assemble. So while those other projects wait for two hands, I thought I might be able to sharpen some chains. Right after I get a new saw, the new 572 XP auto tune. I can't use it until my other hand gets fixed up here. So this chain and bar was the one off my Chinese saw. It's the 24 inch Husky bar. And that's the, the Husky chain as well, but it's kind of pulling one way, which I think it was just a little, little off on the sharp sharpening. But I had this thing sitting on the shelf and I figured I'd try it. It's like a, a Granberg knockoff or whatever they say. So I was playing around with it a bit. You got a couple adjustments so it controls your your up angle right there. If it focuses. So it's set at 10 degrees of an angle up and a 30 degree angle on the tooth. So as you can see it's shooting upwards a little bit, which you want to do with a round file. And going in. And then this here. We'll adjust how far back your two sets. That'll adjust how far your back the backstop is on your tooth back in there. And this is your height for your file, I believe. So I think I got it kind of figured out. I got a couple teeth left on this side. So I put some grease up here to help it slide a little smoother. And then you just you can do it one-handed. And just let the file do the work. And then to switch teeth, you just roll it forward. Until your file falls into the gullet and go back gently into the backstop. Then you'll see the angles basically exactly the same. It'll give each tooth the same profile. I gotta take a little more off these ones because the angle was a touch off. Just from hand filing it. You see I already did up to here. So this tooth is good. But it goes fairly quick. So we'll flip it. Put this up and over. So you can see right there it has a little dimple on each side. Right at the top here. And that holds it on the top of the bar. So once you get one of these set up to a chain bar. Once you get one of these set up for a certain bar and chain size. So this is a 3 8 3 chain by 58 I believe. Yeah, by 058. Then it'll work for that and you don't need to adjust it too much. So we just need to figure out how to swap it around. So we'll loosen this top one. I don't think we gotta switch the whole bar around. And we'll go to a 30. 
this way. Tighten that up. These are where these things come clumsy, but I think it's a little easier with two hands. So I think that'll work. And then we gotta change the angle. Tighten this back up. And then if I had a swivel vise, I could swivel it a bit, give me some room, but that's all right. So now we'll change this to this 10 degree. Snug her up. And let's see if that fits. Oh, perfect. I wonder if I can pull it. Yeah, I think I can. So I'll show you how that file's sitting in there. It's sitting in there fairly nicely. So it's sitting at the right angle. We're just gonna run that through. So this is a still, a still file. They're really nice files. This 572 came with a Husky file. It actually worked pretty good too, so I don't think you can go wrong with any round file. Any of the name brand ones. When I ordered the Chinese saw, I ordered some of the Chinese files. Let me show you. some of the the Holtz form of files they are not the greatest some of them don't even cut at all and some cut a whole bunch but so it's hit and miss on how they work it's just not worth the hassle but this gets all the teeth back in profile nicely and they're sharp just takes a little bit more time, but. So I'll pull it off here for you, show you a little closer up. Let me get behind here so you can kind of see that rail is what the bar sits on. The metal flapper is what, it stops the bar and this is what you sits on the rail of the bar. So if you leave it all adjusted, this will adjust it and everything. It'll sit, it'll always sit right on this bar, you know. Now all the, the major setup is already gone through. Because you adjust with this screw that adjusts your bar height up and down. So it's set for this bar height with this chain. So I'll just save that one for this 24 inch. It actually works pretty good. It might work on the Echo, because that's the same chain. I'll try that. So typically I'll just be using a, a file like this. So my brother likes to put a golf ball on the end of the, his round files, because he just hand files and he's real good at it. But that gives you a nice handhold for your back one to give you a consistent stroke. But as you can see, I can't really hold a round file just yet. So that's why I thought I'd pull out that contraption, but it actually seemed to work. They're sharp. So on rakers, 
I'll usually just look at a few and these are all they're all good so you can do both sides at once here and these ones have, were touched up last time so they're good but that's just a still flat file This bar has a, these Husky bars, they have a grease hole on the back side here. So you wanna push in some grease. Just give it a pump every time you sharpen. And, ah, this is what I use for my, I bought one of these for my still 261. It actually works really good. It's quick and you can, so for a 16 inch bar, you can fly through the bar in five, six minutes, do both sides. So first I ordered a, this is a cheap one off Amazon. I don't recommend doing that. This doesn't work. I don't think they got the, I don't think they have all the files set in the right spot. They're at like different heights. So you can kind of see, so you can kind of see that flat file. This round file sticks up a lot further on that side than on that side. So it doesn't work. It screws up all your heights and everything. That's just junk. But this is good. The still one, I'm happy with that. And they're only $20 more, I think, than the Chinese one. So I was planning on making a video for you guys with the new Husky. You seen the short on it. But I wasn't planning on this. So, kind of a bummer. So I think that's it for this one. That's how I figured out how to, how I can sharpen these chains while I'm a bit decommissioned on one side here. So, thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay tuned. We'll catch you in the next one.